Bitcoin got the move that we were waiting for here back to the upside and broke key resistance areas that we need now to hold. Once we are holding these areas, we start need to look to buying a lot of altcoins. And I'm going to show you here today which ones I'm going to buy, where I'm going to buy and especially what coins I'm going to buy. If you think it's interesting, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, like this video and activate the bell so that you will never miss out on these really important updates. And now let me show you what I found. First of all, I want to tell you about that yesterday was a really good day for us because we got a nice bounce here back to the upside uh, to the $63,000 area that we are right now also holding but probably that I actually just saw what it actually happened but it didn't that I was expecting with a move like that that we get massive volume here to the upside so basically breaking this downtrend this is what was not the case yet so you have to be a little bit careful when you get a move like this uh, without a break of the downwards sloping trend on the volumes uh, I can tell you once we are getting a massive breakout with a green candle uh, here on the volume that will be the final confirmation that we need that we will not see sub sixty thousand dollars anytime soon once this is happening so of course if we break uh, down to like 52 then we get this massive move to the upside to 58 you know so and that is then uh, that big volume candle that we're wait waiting for then this theory is uh, you can throw it out of the window and also but for the time being we are not there um any any near that kind of level so um, I have to go with what I see here from what I'm seeing is that we are potentially testing the mid range here pretty pretty soon around sixty six thousand dollars approximately here on the four hourly chart with our imbalance um, imbalances I have a problem with that word to pronounce it. Um, I, you know what? I, I will ask my business partner, who's American, uh, how he would pronounce imbalances. So it's a, it annoys me, guys. It really annoys me. So we saw yesterday a move back into this imbalance, this big candle here. Again, it's not filled, and I, from what I'm seeing here right now, it doesn't look like that this will get filled anytime soon, and favors once again so here i expect now as long as we are holding this area here continuation to the upside so this area comes in from 62600 to 62950 as long as we are holding this area we should see continuation to the upside in direction of 64400 and then here into this imbalance of this candle uh, of $66,200 approximately. So these are the imminent uh, next short-term targets. So I hope you are able to take advantage of the trade that I've given you here, for example, on this falling wedge pattern, uh, also on the four hourly chart, because we have now finally broken out of that. We are in the mid-range of that pattern, uh, like halfway through it. The technical target, as I also stated this morning on, um, on Twitter, is the $65,576 level. And again, that is in alignment with the mid-range. Once we are breaking here the mid-range of the uh, bull flag on the one-day chart, we will uh, see then here again follow through with short squeezes to the upside because we're going to take out a lot of the liquidity that is sitting here above us. We are slowly starting to creep up here. And we also have to do that to get our uh, golden cross that got now a little bit delayed, which is fine. Uh, but if we continue to trade in these price levels that we are currently seeing, then we should get the golden cross here by Sunday, approximately. Unless, unless Bitcoin pulls a crazy move to the upside, something like this, then this will happen with the 50 moving average. And then we will get this on Saturday. So basically um, in the next... This is like 12 hours, less than 12 hours away. Um, no, sorry, this is a little bit further away. So this is uh, 14, 18 hours. So let's say 24 hours. In the next 24 hours, if we see price action doing something like this, uh, breaking like to $65,000, uh, we could see the Golden Cross happening uh, tomorrow here 4 a.m. Uh, UTC time, potentially, you know, so but maybe a little bit later. Uh, regardless, the only thing that the um, short side can do is drag this out. You know, so they can only drag this out, so that we maybe get 
the Golden Cross something like this. So we get it then two days later, then um, the usual case would be, you know, with your slow grind to the upside, what are two days, guys? You know, I can wait two days for seeing this because once we are getting the Golden Cross, I expect definitely an impulse move to the upside uh, followed by um, a lot of triggers of um, short liquidation cascades that should propel us back to the $67,000 area and from there potentially even to $70,000 quite quickly. The only thing that is looking bearish here on this four hourly chart is actually the stochastic RSI because we're about to print a sell signal. The RSI is going sideways, which is not a big issue and the MACD is still bullish. So that tells me that we are maybe in for some sideways chop here between both moving averages. And then at some point when the stochastic came down halfway or all the way, we are going to get our move here to the upside. Here on the liquidation heat map, you basically see the same thing. Uh, first uh, area here of $2.2 billion worth of short liquidations at $65,660, more or less uh, the level that I'm also looking at on the four hourly and on the daily chart. And then uh, once we are breaking through that, uh, we would jump to $67,360. This can all happen in one four hourly candle, you know, so because a lot of short liquidations will get triggered once we are uh, starting to break into these levels here. Below us, maybe uh, we would see, a, yeah, I would not even know. So this is three months. Let, let's have a look on 24 hours how we are looking here, uh, liquidity wise. So, yes, there you can make the case. That we maybe come back down to 62,300 to take here out these new long positions that came in today. But then I would immediately expect a move back up here to around 64 to take out all the uh, liquidity that's stacked up here because that is way more up here than down there. And guys, don't forget, if you want to follow my trades, do this on a Bybit. You still get $30,000 in deposit bonus. Um, otherwise use Margex. Also there we have a profitable trade running. I'm going to show you all the trades in a moment here. And if you cannot use Bybit or uh, Margex, use BitGet or Femex, especially if you are in the UK or in the US. They're amazing, especially uh, Femex. You still get $8,000, uh, almost $9,000 um, in deposit bonuses on Femex. And if you want just to copy trade me on Fairdesk, then you still get $120,000. That's the highest bonus in the industry. All the links to these exchanges are in the pin coin below and in the description of this video. So make use of them. And now let me actually show you quick uh, the trades that I have still running here. So on Margex is still my Solana trade is again back here at $3,000 in profit. When we go to Bybit, my ton trade exploded overnight. Here $1,700, 140% right now. Um, I took the same trade that I gave you guys yesterday. So you could have taken the same trade, would have made the same money. I applied everything what I said in the video. Um, you just need to follow. And also I'm up, uh, almost up here $2,000 um, on that trade. When we are going to the total market cap here, we are going now into the weekend. I would like to see that we are closing the candle at least as it is because we are back here in our support resistance uh, flip zone. Um, as long as we, we can hold this area, I expect continuation to the upside on the total market cap in direction of $2.5 trillion um, and afterwards $3 trillion, especially after breaking this downward sloping trend line. The confirmation will come in um, after the weekly close um, and then hopefully with another push to the upside. Uh, here on the Bitcoin dominance, um, we are basically still in that lull phase after the halving and you know, also this can still go on for a little bit. Um, but we are still here within our ranges where we should be uh, here uh, when we are looking at the Bitcoin dominance um, by uh, actually a little bit earlier. So after the halving, kind of like here in June, I would expect this time, like six weeks later starts normally the alt season, the first signs of it, but you're going to see proper movements here around August. So in June, we're going to see the a first glimpse, you know, so that's why I want to make it a little bit tighter here. Let it, let it be the 17, where we should see um, um, some sort of a drop. So here, the first indication for me that we are starting to enter now into the alt season is if we lose the 51% level. And here is something else that I actually just spotted on this weekly chart. And that is that we are putting in here a rising wedge. So, and once this is starting to break down, that is your first sign and if we get continuation to the downside, 
that uh, will follow through, then you know, okay, that is the start. You should start to scale into altcoins in that exact moment. When we are looking at the USD dom dominance, um, we see here a rejection from the 5% level. That was exactly what we wanted to see. Now at $4, uh, sorry, $4, 4.75% uh, uh, is the next level that I want to be broken because only if we break that level, we are most likely going to see Bitcoin uh, here moving in direction of $67,000. And that will be, of course, also really, really good for a lot of altcoins out there. When we're looking at Ethereum, uh, Ethereum is not looking all too healthy, guys. You know, I'm also not a huge fan anymore of Ethereum to, to trade this just because even the, the beta plays on Ethereum are not performing tremendously anymore you know so uh, when i look on solana or other chains you know the beta plays are doing much much better there than ethereum so from uh, from a trader's perspective why should i stay then with ethereum you know i'm not married to any coin i go there where i can make money and ethereum doesn't look like to me right now that i can make a lot of money there so it's not so interesting anymore guys uh, but regardless i just wanted to touch on that really briefly we're below the monday low if we break the monday low to the upside we see continuation if we get rejected today uh, then i would imagine that we get a retest around the three thousand dollar level so we're not so far away from that it would be just a one percent move to the downside here also as long as this area is holding i would not be too concerned about Ethereum here, 2,950 to 2,975. As long as that is holding, um, there's nothing to worry. Uh, also in the VPVR, uh, here I, we really need to break it soon um, above the point of control, the red line at $3,076, because the longer we stay below that, um, the stronger that area will act as resistance if we try to break it at um, yeah a given moment. Now on the daily chart also here, uh, the stochastic gave us already a buy signal. The RSI is going down, sideways down, kind of. And the MACD is kind of flatlining with some green candles here, but also not really convincing. So you see there's like an accumulation phase going on right now on Ethereum. Um, and you can draw here kind of like a pennant within that uh, falling wedge pattern. And I'm going to tell you, I don't like it. I don't like it because um, you you can make both cases. You can say, okay, we come out of an uptrend, you know, and form this. But here we got first a move down, you know. So basically we come out of a downtrend and forming this. And usually when we come out of a downtrend, we see continuation to the downside, which could bring us back to like $2,400 uh, potentially. So I don't want to see that. I want that... Ethereum reclaims here the EMA ribbon, breaks above resistance at $3,360, then consolidates above that area, and then it, and then also follows through into higher prices. But we not always get what we want, guys, right? So um, here, right now, I, uh, from a technical perspective, with the buy signal could come the momentum that we are looking for to break above the EMA ribbon, and if we start then here going sideways a little bit in this resistance area of $3,300, it's not the end of the world uh, as long as we are then at some point also breaking this to the upside and continuing to um, yeah to move in direction of $4,000. Solana is also doing well today here once again. Uh, the only thing that I don't like is that Solana is now ranging here really aggressively up and down um, and is having issues with that resistance at $155 to break through that. Uh, we also see that here on a stochastic because we are already um, about to put in another sell signal. The RSI already is here on the way to the downside uh, price action. The candles are also forming a reversal pattern right now. So the question is how low can that reversal take us? So if I go here to a daily chart, let's have a look. Um, Technically, on the stochastic, uh, we got a buy signal, but this can maybe give us momentum to get into our first tech profit area. And from there, we would see then another move to the downside, most likely to like $160 again, um, some consolidation, you know, so and then another move to the upside. When we're going to the weekly chart, things looking much better everywhere on the weekly chart. Um, that's why I will get to that point uh, here in a, in a moment. I think if you give Solana uh, two weeks, 
two, three weeks, we will be above $170. So if you want to buy Solana on spot, amazing moment uh, to do so right now, um, in my opinion. So for the long term, it's a good area to accumulate. But um, would I open insane leverage positions on Solana right now? No, not really, guys. Not, not really. You know, so... Um, if you were here trading from where I told you, you know, you're from the buy zone one and two, start taking to uh, at least to take a little bit profit here in this area and wait what's going to happen there, you know, because on the lower time frames, things starting to look like that we maybe get continuation here to the upside pretty soon. But remember, at some point, the higher time frames catching up and then we're going to actually see the rollover. So maybe some sideways action here on the four hourly. Um, with a nice pop here, a little bit higher. But then I would say by Monday, by Monday, we, we are Sunday, Monday, we're going to get a small retracement on, on Solana. So, but there, there is the potential right now that we hit here like $166, $170 um, and take some profit off there, you know. So, and then most likely when we are hitting this level, we are just coming back uh, here above the $156 level start bouncing here up and down in that range and then start trending higher because the weekly chart is painting a clear picture across the board and I'm going to show you what I mean. For example, uh, here Pendle also starting to look really strong even on the on the daily chart. Um, if you would have bought yesterday uh, here in our buy area, uh, you would be now slightly up already on your position. Um, not all, all too much, but a little bit, you know. So let's say you would have bought here in the middle somewhere. So you would be up almost 5%. So 10x leverage, it would be 50%, guys. That's not that bad, you know, um, for less than 24 hours. But again, remember, I told you, wait for the break of this downward sloping trend line. We are right now in the process of breaking it. So I would wait for today's candle and uh, to have a look on tomorrow's candle and enter only then. So I did not pull the trigger yet. You know, guys, I'm trigger happy, um, especially a, a little bit too early sometimes. But here I'm waiting. So now with um, Ton Telegram, this is a beast, guys. You know, so um, if you were able to catch that in the buy zone when I gave it to you, uh, you would be massively up uh, like me right now. You would have taken already your first take profit off the table. If you haven't, do it now. You know, take 25% uh, off the table, set your stop loss to $6.44. And wait for the next take profit here in the uh, in this area here of seven dollars and thirty uh, to take another fifty percent, and then my final take profit. I'm gonna tell you um, one area that I'm looking at is up here. There's another area where I'm looking to take another ten percent off the table from what's left, and then uh, my final take profit is for my leverage position at eight dollars now here fetch fetch also uh, strong uh, move here to the upside i think i just need to adjust um here this line a little bit i was uh, yeah technically right you know so i just need to draw this maybe like this here when when i draw, uh, put this like here then you see you know so we are basically following this line here this looks much better on the 12 hourly chart we have here buy signal we see continuation on the macd the arrows eyes pointing to the upside candles are going strong so we are facing here a little bit resistance right now um, from this price action area from $2.33 to $2.42 approximately. Once we are breaking through this, you're going to see a really quick acceleration uh, to the $2.80 level uh, where you should then uh, definitely um, close your leverage positions because from there we're going to reassess um, a new entry for our next trades here. Uh, then Ondo, Ondo also following beautifully uh, here our prediction. Uh, so if you got in here at 77 cents, you would be up almost 10% here right now on this position. Uh, I think it's also time to take um, here some measurements to protect your gains that you made so far because also here we are running into a small resistance up here um, up to 85 cents. Once we are breaking through 85 cents, you're also going to see a quick acceleration here um, into the last resistance area before our uh, final take profit point. And maybe here also take some profit off the table. Um, let me actually see here. Yeah, here around the 90 
294 uh, cent level uh, there i would take off a little bit of profit you know so and then the rest here at the one dollar mark icp icp also breaking to the upside right now i open a trade on icp at uh, 12 dollars and 40 cents um let me actually have a quick look here uh, on which platform i did this i did this here so just that you see whoop. so like uh, roughly 50 dollars in profit right now nothing crazy okay 40 dollars is uh, it's now so the um so that's that's fine um but here again if you want to play it super safe wait for that candle to close uh, that will be your confirmation you know so and then you can enter this uh, with tomorrow's candle opening and trade this here into the uh, targets of $18.93, uh, $20.76, and then potentially even higher. So uh, this is a trade that I might let run for quite a while, um, but I have not decided yet. Depends on what the price action is telling me. But for now, um, it looks like a good buy. But also here, there I actually was trigger happy. Um, may, uh, maybe you should a little bit more conservative and wait to get um, a proper confirmation for tomorrow. Filecoin also beautifully um, got out of the uh, reaccumulation here, out of that buy zone that I have given you. If you missed to buy here, uh, you might get another chance because the indicators are telling me that we are coming down a little bit. Um, I would maybe, that would be my rebuy zone right now, if, if you missed it, you know, so this area is also good. If you missed now slightly below um, to buy, so if you come back to like $5.80, I would start buying. And if we just go up here and don't look back, you know, so then here at $6.08 is the next level where I would start buying. The take profit is $7.60. Nothing has changed here. Near is another coin that I was trading today and also yesterday um, when we broke this falling wedge pattern. I also pointed out yesterday uh, here the target remains $8.09. Um approximately we are going strong but also here i see a little bit of exhaustion happening on the four hourly chart uh, here on the 12 hourly we are still looking strong um, especially if we break here this this area so if we are breaking here above eight dollars and ten this should uh, this should fly here especially with that um, inverse head and shoulders pattern that we are seeing here that has already broken to the upside. So now I don't want to count the wick into it. Like I said, I don't want to count uh, too many wicks into it. Hold it conservatively, but this will give us a target, I think over $10, close to $10, $9.75. So it would be not too late to enter this, uh, this trade here because uh, on the 12 hourly and on the daily, we're not looking all too bad. And Nia has also uh, the uncanny ability to just uh, move here really fast to the upside so now we are coming uh, to some of the other coins rndr was one of them that i get that i had given you uh, here with that sell area uh, where you should have sold out if you're still in this trade the last area where i would definitely close out a lot of bit of uh, a lot of the remaining position would be at 12 dollars 60 and 12 dollars uh, and 81 um here a word of caution here also we are putting in First of all, a really steep climbing uh, upward sloping trend line and also a rising wedge pattern. So that might be, for the short, short term, really short term, a potential opportunity to short this to the downside. But I would be careful, you know, so only if we break down here. Uh, otherwise, I, I would not touch it, you know, so because this is a really strong coin, especially with the Apple announcement um, where they showcased some um, R&DR stuff that uh, R&DR is involved with. So um, be, be careful short, uh, trying to short something like this, you know. So, but if uh, it breaks down, I think it will come back to like $10.33, $10.55. From there, you can relong this um, and trade this to $12.75, $12.62. Uh, here, uh, Rune. Rune also on the four hourly time frame looks exhausted. Um, I'm actually trading Rune right now because of the weekly chart. Here on the weekly chart, clear picture. Oh, wow, I did not know that I still had this here left. Here uh, on, on the weekly chart, clear picture, big, big move here to the upside um, since the, the beginning of the week. So we, we are up here over 20%. Uh, MACD, a lighter red candle, stochastic, uh, giving a buy signal, RSI pointing to the upside. So here, if you play this on, the, uh, on spot, 
this should definitely um, continue to rip to the upside um, for the rest of the month. So I, I would expect that we are trading at nine dollars um, by the end of the month or early June. Um, so and that that will be another at least fifty percent move, I think, almost. Yes, so forty eight percent if we go to nine dollars and forty seven cents. So you're forty eight percent without leverage. That is not too bad, in my opinion, uh, for like two three weeks. Dot dot is one of the new coins that I'm watching right now. Why I'm watching it? Because uh, the stochastic wanted already to give a buy signal, but then came back down. So I would not. Uh, count as, as a strong buy signal on the stochastic RSI and on the MACD uh, also still red candles. I want to see at least one lighter red candle and I also want the RSI to start pointing up a little bit. Um, until then we remain in this accumulation zone that we are in and a good entry level is here this green box that I that I have uh, for the simple reason that for four weeks the price action was not able to break through this and every time when we got close to five dollars and seventy eight cents we got really quickly bought back up to six dollars sixty four so like a um, this is like a 10 15 percent move um, immediately back to the upside here on these weekly candles and now this weekly candle is actually above that box so that might be um, your last chance when we dip into this area here once again to get dot for cheap before we are starting to attack uh, the resistance of the accumulation zone at $11.75 and once we are breaking this the next target would be around the $16, $17 mark. So here also uh, for a spot position a really good area uh, to buy dot. Then uh, we have a mask. Mask basically same picture just the RSI looks stochastic looks a little bit better also the RSI looks a little bit better here also I would wait uh, for um, the MACD to turn around at least with a lighter red candle and a buy signal on the stochastic RSI and that we are holding above $3.32. Uh, that is right now our support. So I don't want to see a weekly candle close below that. Then I would cut this position. But as long as we are holding above that area here right now where we are sitting at all the way up to like $3.70, I would buy a mask and trade this to five dollars and potentially all the way back up to like ten dollars um, in the midterm. So because there's also a resistance area up here. So that that would be my sell area uh, for the midterm nine dollars fifty three to like ten dollars uh, fifty four um, from buying it all the way down here. So and that is a really juicy trade. You know, look at this. This is over two hundred eight percent, almost two hundred nine percent. Uh, move here to the upside uh, that in my opinion can also happen within the next four or five weeks and we're gonna introduce something new here on the channel because uh, i see sometimes guys uh, saying hey you're bearish tomorrow you're you're bullish i'm just telling you what i'm seeing in the, in the charts you know so there's for me there's no bias i'm not leaning bullish bearish you know so i'm working on a daily basis with what i'm seeing and to give you a little bit more clarity on that uh, all trades that you see here on the channel from next week onwards there will be a public spreadsheet you will find this in the comment section and in the description of every video where every trade that I announce on this channel and give you on in every single video I am gonna uh, enter this trade in the Excel sheet for the predictive calls that I make and for the calls that I actually took myself with screenshots of actually executing the trade for accountability so that you actually see that you can make money on this channel. So if you think that is something um, that you are looking forward to, let me know in the comments below. And now I have to run here again, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, smash up the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you then again tomorrow.